Gosh, good morning, everybody. Hey, does this thing still work? Hello, hello? Sorry, guys. I just went back and looked. I've not posted a video in something like 19 days. By far the longest it's ever been. So I really apologize for that. But it's been a great couple weeks. Let's just go over them real quick and then uh, we'll give some updates. So t the thing I want to show you today is this. I actually passed. So the last time I talked to you was about a week before the driver's, uh, kind of the race driver's course. And really that week, since I've posted that, um, the week getting ready was took a lot more than expected. I mean, you had to do a full medical exam. You had to fill out all the paperwork. I had to rent another car. I think I told you in the last video that I did what's called an arrive and drive program. So we rented a spec built Miata. It's SM class if you guys follow such things um, three of my past instructors had said hey Dave you should do this you are ready to go and uh, they were wrong I was uh, I was by far the least experienced person on the track so the day we drove onto the track in the Miatas to go to to go to the race class day one was my fifth day on a racetrack and the next most or least experienced person had 18 track days. So I was probably three and a half times less experienced than the next least experienced person in the class. It was pretty brutal. I mean, I enjoyed it, but wow, it was not, um, they were playing for keeps. Um, the past track days are performance driving events or experiences, PDX events, or high performance driving experiences, HPDEs. Um, this was not, in those kind of events, um, you're mostly single file, you pass in certain zones, you get point buys. I mean, unless the driver in front of you actually points over the car or points you to the pass, uh, you don't pass. Boy, in these driving, in, in, in the more in the professional side or the, in the race schools, we were going in um, three wide, six deep into these corners. So. Um, and in somebody else's car. Now, luckily, these Miatas, I could have bought it for 11 grand. So if we had really wrecked it, it wouldn't have been so bad. But to pass it, to, you know, to drive away with, you know, my my uh, novice permit, um, to, to convert it from a novice permit to a full race license, I have to now compete in three, three full races and um, not get flagged by the marshals for missing flag signals or for you know, causing accidents or something. So if I do that, so some kind of, over the next three, four months, I'll get that done and we'll get a full race license. Pretty exciting, um, pretty intense experience. I then actually drove from the racetrack Sunday night, drove right to Dulles Airport and flew to Disney World in Orlando and uh, spent the next week, uh, it was spring break for my kids. And, and so my wife and my kids, and then my kids brought friends. It was a great week. I didn't, um, I didn't film a single thing. I did also didn't film a single thing in the uh, race driving school. It was just too intense. So, so I thought I better just jump on and let you know that I'm not dead. Um, it's been a great, uh, it's been a great two weeks essentially. Um, you know, but at this point in my life, when I take my kids somewhere, we kind of turn off and um, pay attention to them. And it's great to watch. My kids are 15 and 17 now, and. And so to watch them, uh, I kind of got one year left with my son before he launches off to college. Um, I've got three years left with my daughter. But I try to, you know, the, the one of the business things we'll talk about in a future video is finish strong. And you know, we've had a great race with my kids for 17 years, but I want to finish strong. I want this last year with my son to be, to be a great one and to know that he has my full attention. And so when we go on vacation now, I really don't film much. Um, I did a little bit in New York back in the holiday time frame but I'm not gonna do too much filming with the kids around um, just want them to feel like uh, this takes precedence over them so that's why I haven't filmed much um, I'll tell you we got a great update the ZR1 is essentially getting delivered today or tomorrow um, it, it was built on time that March 15th to 23rd time frame actually worked it went through QA it's on the truck it should be delivered um, anywhere now literally today tomorrow Friday we might be able to pick it up on Friday so we'll certainly do a delivery video and show you uh, getting that in the in the garage that will essentially create uh, complete the garage project by the way 
And so the next thing will be, we're gonna upgrade the Mustang, the 2007 uh, Mustang, the GT500. Um, since Ford has announced the 2019 Shelby GT500, we'll probably upgrade to that. Um, we looked at the Bullet uh, Mustang, but it, it really didn't do anything for us. Um, you know, my wife didn't really like it, and I like her. She likes driving the Mustang, so we'll um, we'll probably upgrade to a 19. But that'd be a nice 12-year upgrade from the 07 to the 19. So you'll see us do that. They're not even available. You can't order them. They don't really even know when the orders are going to open up. So that might be something in the summer or the fall. And then I don't know how long it'll take. But the ZR1 coming in probably this weekend. You know, into the garage, you'll be part of that. So the only other thing I want to update you on right now is really the um, this concept of hiring somebody to help you. And I've done that. Um, she started on Monday. Her name's Rachel. She is my, now my contract specialist here at DHA as the CEO. All contractual paperwork still flows through me. So every piece of uh, contractual or money-related um, paperwork that comes from my clients or leaves DHA back to our clients or leaves DHA and goes to our subcontractors, that all comes through me. So um, I'm going to start moving that off to somebody else. But that's a months-long project. And the concept that I just want to talk to you about for a minute is when you hire somebody to help you, it actually is more of a burden. And that's something you should be ready for as you try to grow your business is, hey, I need help. I need to hire somebody. And sometimes we have that fallacy of, hey, they're going to be helpful day one. And that's really not true. Um, I'll tell you, it will take four to six months for Rachel to really help my life. Um, but, a, but a year from now, it, it will take four or five hours a day off of me. And... You know, that's life-changing for me, so I'm willing to invest the time. What will be frustrating is if she gets four, five, six months into it and then decides it's really not for her and then moves on and that, that training is essentially wasted and has to be reapplied to the next person. So just be aware, when you get overworked and it's time to bring in somebody to help you run your business, please don't let yourself believe that he or she will be useful day one. It probably will be weeks or months before they can really remove burden from your daily life. Um, so we can talk more about that. Some of you have asked about, you know, hey, let's get more into business stuff. We've talked about um, starting a business and what it takes to, to really start it and grow it. And a couple of you have actually sent me emails. So I will try over the next few days to do, a, you know, start answering those questions here on the on the video and not not just do it by email to individuals because I think some of the questions are really good so I'm not ignoring you um, I'll definitely get to it it's just been a crazy time for me um, I don't really have any you know, God listen to me I really don't have anything else to update you on right now the ZR1 should be here any day I had a new hire that works directly for me for my contract specialist is coming I've got to focus on her and the last two weeks has been about getting my race license and spending one week with my kids so that's really it i um, hope things are good um you know I just don't forget the the year is clicking away we're now um you know what are we almost a week into april so the first quarter is done um hopefully so you've set some goals for yourself and you're working towards them and um, please ask questions please help me guide the next video and um the, i know the next car video will be when the zr ones uh, actually gets here and then the next business one will be answering some of the questions you asked me. So I hope things are great. Have a great Wednesday, and uh, we'll try to talk tomorrow. Bye, everybody.